Beacon Foundation works with disadvantaged young people right across the country. We work with you know, up to 10,000 young people a year and really trying to ensure each of them reach their true potential and transition from school into something meaningful. And so much of what happens in life is a lottery because you can be born on that side or you're born on the other. You know, and there's so many of those examples and where a young person has felt like there is no pathway for them other than welfare. We started work with Beacon really at the end of 2014 and to be really honest with you, it's, it's far exceeded my expectations. We started our journey in Tasmania really out of frustration with government. You know, same issues weren't being addressed and so Beacon was formed around addressing that single issue of youth unemployment with innovative processes and really what Beacon is on about is trying to address that and trying to get the community to take some ownership around supporting those young people. I think when um, businesses come into our school, kids relate more to them. They want, they're interested in hearing from some, someone other than a teacher or a parent and that they can really connect with the business owner and ask questions and get any information they want out of it. Opens up so many like doors for students, especially the ones that don't know what they want to do when they like leave school. Being linked to the employer just helped move a bit of the, the cloud of mystery of what was going to happen. It's not as easy now as it was back a few years ago and it's getting harder and harder all the time and I think that's why we see the uh, unemployment rates going up. I think you know anything we can do as businesses or as a general community, the better off we all are. And so we set off on this very ambitious journey to see Beacon go into initially nine centres, every state, both territories covered, and then all up now we've worked in over 200 communities across, across the country. And, and the other massive initiative for us is around eBeacon. A teacher and an industry rep working together, co-designing uh, a lesson plan around where industry uses that particular subject area. Now in terms of eBeacon, teachers will be able to access all those different business blackboards. So if they're delivering a science lesson at the back of Alice Springs, they'll be able to access a, a relevant business blackboard that's linked to science. And the thing that technology enables us to do is to reach more people. Why not do that for education? Why not go out into the, into the world, into the remote areas where young people are the most disadvantaged and teachers may need more assistance than those in the metropolitan areas and help them? It's a great thing to be able to give opportunities for young people who perhaps wouldn't have had those opportunities before and Beacon provides that, that great brokership to be able to uh, introduce young people to us and for us to, to, to give them a crack. We, we want every young Australian to have the dignity and self-respect that we all have getting up every day and, and being part of a career. That, that's, that's essential.